Hey everybody, it's Sale of 38 here. We have another box opening tonight. On our right, we've got a 2019 Allen & Ginter uh, blaster box. I was going through the local Walmart trying to figure out what I hadn't actually covered and this Allen & Ginter popped up. I think the only other thing that they have that I've not opened is uh, Topps Archives. And for whatever reason, I just haven't picked that up yet. Eventually, I'll get to it. Anyways, we've had some time with the 2019 set. We picked up uh, the Trout here. I'm going to get the glare off of that, which is the Ginter Greats. And we picked up the Kristen Stewart Rookie. Those are both from a value pack. We also had picked up a Baseball Prime pack a while back, a few weeks back, in fact. And I had actually missed this Matsui previously. But this is a short print card. It's worth like five bucks. So it's not a tremendous chase card here, but it's nice. Anyway, we picked those up uh, for the value pack. We also received five of the minis here. There wasn't too much surprising this way and from uh that we also picked up a aj pollock black border card so tonight we're going to cover the 2019 allen and ginter blaster box i'm actually without my trusty random razor blade so we'll use this pen knife 48 cards here this is one of these that says seven packs plus an extra pack I'm unsure at this point since I didn't do my research exactly if this will be a mini pack or one of the normal sized ones. I will go and try to replicate the odds for you right here so you can see what's going on. We've got some glossy parallels that are pretty hard to hit, about 10,000 to 1. We've got relics that are uh, about 175 for a mini relic. Some autographs here too. So some fun cards to be picking out. There's an example of some of the hits that we'd love to actually get into. Mookie Betts, Relic. We got Bryce Harper. Uh, Eloy, of course. We got an Eloy a few nights ago. The video's not up yet, but you'll see exactly what's going on shortly. Anyways, let's see what we have in this pack. Or with these packs. We've got the seven packs here. Some of those feel a little bit bulky. We can do a visual right quick. Okay. One pack looks all jacked up. Anyways, we've got these right here. There's a few of those that look fairly thick. I say this one looks fairly thin. Oh yeah, and the final little bit of connection to the hobby. I was lucky enough to pick up this CC Sabathia. It was a trivia night. He's a popular YouTuber, and I actually got high enough to pick, like, number 11 or so. So that was what stoked me into the hobby. I'm going to keep that up. Hopefully a CC Sabathia card goes and gives us good luck. Without any further ado, break into these packs and see what we got going on. Pack 1, we got Mookie Betts. We have the background for these very uh, traditional looking ones, of course, uh, written out information for each of the stats, games played, triples, batting average of 303 this year, number one in the set. We got Rizzo here, Anthony Rizzo coming here, we got the buddy of uh, our sleeve card, Mike Trout. We have new to the zoo, a penguin chick mini card. These are always goofy. I can actually give these to my daughter. She's got her own little collection of off the wall cards. A catfish hunter here. Yeah, very cool card. This has a similar collation actually to the last pack that we opened that had the trout in it. And Andrew Benintendi. So we've got that for our own PC. Pack dupes. That one didn't end up cracking the way I wanted it to, but... 
starting off with David Price. Harmon Killebrew. The colors on this are just fantastic. I love how uh, they just pop up. They've got the off-white color plus the robust color palette that is being used. Edward Encarnacion. We have Colby. I don't know who that is. It is Danielle Colby, reality TV personality from... Oh, American Pickers. Really? Oh, okay. I, I remember her. I don't remember her having a vi vibrant sort of color for her uh, typical clothes. I thought she usually wore like band shirts and stuff on the show. Oh, well, it's one of the black borders that's a little bit rarer. We got Andalusian horse. And then we've got Mitch Keller, or Brad Keller, excuse me. Oh, that's always white confused. If you know me in real life, you know I've got a name that's hard to confuse, but with a lot of me around, there's three or four distinct people in my discipline that have the same name. It's my hopes up that people have recognized my work, but it's always somebody else. Yuri Guriel, Ernie Banks, AJ Pollock in the plain variant of what we had here when I showed it off previously. So that's what it looks like. Ooh, we got a Max Scherzer coming up after the Justin Bohr. That is ba Baseball Star Signs, Leo. Leos are ruled by the proud and fierce lions. So astrology information here. Femel Reyes? Yeah. So that's a good hit. Uh, baseball star signs. We'll have to see exactly what that is at the end of the video in terms of odds. Probably about a 1 in 8 or 1 in 6. This is the only one of these uh, blasters that was in my local store. So hopefully uh, it's going to be pretty strong in the second batch. Yohan Moncada. We got Goldschmidt here. Fergie Jenkins? Definitely before my time. Yeah, Fergie Jenkins here. Playing in the 70s, I believe. Jim Palmer? Yeah, Jim Palmer. Uh, one of these Alan Ginter style backgrounds for this card. That is another one. Let's put these down for just a second. That is another variation that exists here. So you can see, I know these are two different subsets, but uh, the Alan Ginter original style does look a lot different than what you'll typically get with those minis. Some good variants, of course. Let's bring these cards back up here. And Jackie Robinson. And Paul Molitor to conclude this pack. All right, so nice collection of cards. Lots of veterans here. Not a ton of rookies yet, but I think this set, uh, at least the ones we pulled, haven't had a ton of rookies generally. Always could be wrong here. We've just not gotten the luck yet. We got Guriel again. Claiborne we got last time. We got a blue coming up here. It's Loretta. Castellanos. Carden. I don't know this person. Augie Carden. Carden Brewing Company. Okay, he does steal this beer. Funny thing is, is that I actually run a uh, magazine. You can see the title of the thing, and we have a beer review section. I'm not too familiar with that person. All right, and the final one of these. Oh, it's going to be one of those. That. <laughs> And I got Goldschmidt Mini playing back, so that's the world's champion's back. And then a, it looks like a pickle plane, but it's definitely some land on the bottom. Messerschmitt ME262, History of Flight uh, subset. All right, so yeah, got my hopes up and threw a card on the ground as I was moving this pile. We're down to three packs left. This one is causing a little bit more strife. 
the Starling Marte on the back from the Pirates. That's a pretty plain pack, but we'll see what pops up. Yeah, Jeff Bagwell here with the very late era Astros Uni for when I was watching him. It was definitely the mid uh, 90s. So, hmm. I'll have to see what year that was. Yeah, Brooks Robinson here. Hicks. Jordan Hicks. Okay. Eddie Murray. Yeah, in here. Just a plain back mini card. Rosie the Riveter's Work Gloves, you know, the famous uh, World War II ad campaign put forth. All right, penultimate pack. We'll see what we got here. And we'll cut off about the 13 minute mark unless I have to cheer some amazing pull in the last few packs. JT Real Muto on the back. Juan Gonzalez. Yeah. Hater here. It's a Tennessee walking horse. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Collectible canines. The Boston Terrier. All right. Well, we got a lot of cards still a little tonight. Uh, Aroldis Chapman. A match happened. I can't even think that. And there's JT Romito. Ah, uh, I will get these names right eventually. Hopefully they get together with this baseball uh, season shortly. As I'm recording this now, it looks like we're going to walk into about a 60-game season, but uh, who knows if that's actually going to be agreed upon by the MLBPA. And Matt Carpenter, who we've been seeing in a ton of our stuff. Dwight Gooden, Doc Gooden here. Porcello. Francisco Francisco Lindor and another baseball star science. It's Scorpio this time. Lost languages, the Chinwere language. I haven't seen this one yet. And Odabel Herrera to finish up our uh, box here. So you can see what we pulled here. Let's get the Cardin and the Keller out of the way for a minute. We can try to see exactly what we hit in terms of odds. Let's say the Alan Ginter back is one in five, so the Jim Palmer was a decent enough hit. If we're looking at, we didn't get anything in terms of a rip card or anything, which would have been great. The baseball star signs are one in four packs. The Mares and Stallions are one in six. The incredible equipment, the Rosie Riveters, one in six as well. The history of Flight is one in six. And the collectible canines. It's kind of our box hit for 1 in 10. Anyways, oh, no, no, I, I lie. The Lost Languages is 1 in 50, so that's a rare one here, this Iowa-specific language. Anyways, have a fantastic end of your night. I'll be putting the Lindor in my collection. I'll be putting the Max Scherzer in the collection, of course, and hope you have some good uh, pulls in the next few packs you open up as well. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Settler again. Uh, just a quick update. I went through the cards themselves and I pulled out some short prints. The Porcello, the Jordan Hicks, the Jenkins, and the Edwin Encarnacion are all short prints. We also had one mini short print as well. And uh, it's Eddie Murray. That is just uh, as normal with the top card. There's different numbers that are associated with it. You'll end up having a bunch of bulk that has all the same numbers. If you look at the last two digits, you'll find that sometimes they vary. So we got some short prints there. Thanks.